All right. The Rice Owls, Texas Longhorns tonight. The Longhorns coming out on top, 48-13. to Great, great play from Sam Ellinger, our quarterback. Devin DuVernay once again getting it done. Uh, we did not have Colin Johnson tonight um, sitting this game out. Um, needs to recover. I believe it's his back that's given him some issues. We will definitely have him back, I'm pretty sure, next week for OSU. We have OSU who's going to, you know, come into this game, you know, undefeated. And, uh, you know, we enter Big 12 conference play against OSU, so it's time to really buckle down and, you know, whatever we're going to do this season, it, it really starts this next week against OSU. We'll move on to uh, West Virginia from there, and then we have Oklahoma. So it's time to really get in that film room and uh, start studying some of these teams. Uh, tonight against Rice, Ellinger, outstanding. Uh, left the game late in the third quarter. We were already up by so much, you know, uh, no point in him being in the game. 200 and I think uh, 79 yards passing. Um, had some good uh, run plays as well, did Ellinger, showing that he can do it on the ground. Uh, extremely accurate tonight. I think he only missed four passes in the entire game. The first uh, touchdown pass was coming to uh, – went to Roshan Johnson from right here in Port Natchez, Texas, where he played high school right around the corner. So it was great to see uh, a local local guy get out there and get it done, get some uh, get some playing time. Roshan playing great. Uh, Sam Ellinger, great game. Mixing it up in the pass game, getting it out to several different receivers. Um, just great. The defense looked fairly stout tonight. Uh, no strips, no takeaways, no interceptions. Um, we did have a run back for a touchdown, uh, 94 yards, first time in a long time in over 80 games. So we ran one back for a touchdown, so that's huge. You know, all of that's huge. Uh, I would like to see some more, uh, you know, the defensive side with more interceptions, strips, fumbles, things like that. And uh, that will happen moving forward. And uh, anything that our defense can give us, and especially these next three games looking forward, will really, really help out our offense. Uh, Cameron Dicker, long field goals tonight on the money with all of them, showing that he's got a leg. I mean, he just tremendous kicker. So we were blessed to have Cameron Dicker, the guy can hit it from long range. So... Got OSU coming up. I will have a pregame for, uh, for this. We're going to look at some statistics when we uh, get into that pregame video. We're going to look at some stats and really see what we're uh, matched up against. So OSU coming up. Looking forward to it next weekend. This was a great uh, win tonight. A chance for us to get some of our confidence back and... Um, just to get more in sync, our receivers with uh, Sam Ellinger. So our run game looked pretty good tonight as well. Ingram with some really good runs. Um, so I think we're in good shape against OSU. It's going to be a good game, guys. So let's get ready for that one. But a great win tonight, 48-13 to over Rice. So let's see what we have for OSU. Guys, if you like this video, please share it. As always, click on that bell. To the right to be notified of all my future videos and uh, you guys take it easy hey hook them horns got it done tonight 48 13 you guys take it easy